Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh are here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide. And this time we are getting it all in the redress of Myra. Now this was developed by Tonguk Boder, published by East Asia Soft, and is available for usually £8.39-$9.99 in the old US of A. So we play as Myra the Elf Goddess, as she embarks on a dangerous quest after learning carefully guarded secrets from her mother, the, the, the Mrs. Elf Goddess. Now a lot of this is sort of walking in serene and lovely locations while there are just a few small combat sections plus puzzles and a bit of platforming, you know, all the good stuff. As for achievements, 21 of the 23 are for finding all of the crows. Now a lot are actually on the path and unmissable but there are a few that you do have to go slightly off the path to get. The other two achievements are for seeing each ending which is a happy and unhappy ending which is, again is easily done after the game by just hitting continue. Either way, this should only take around one and a half to two hours long. So, with that being said then, well, let's do it. Now, with the combat, it is easy enough, but Mr. Boder has added something in the settings section, which I will show you now to make this even easier. So, if we head into settings and general, you'll see at the bottom there, God Mode. Now, again, there's only three or four different... Uh, or maybe I think five actually, uh, combat sections. But if you want this even easier than possible, put God Mode on and then we can just go ahead and start a new game. Um, uh, uh, I mean, the combat's kind of weird, um, but we'll get to that later. So, to sprint or to slightly jog, by the way, the um, voice acting in this game is fantastic. Um, it's just, it, it did make me chuckle. Um, but to sprint, you can either just keep holding the left bumper button, or you can click in the left stick once, and that will put you on a continuous, slight, faster walk jog. Um, and again, of course, if you want to walk slow, just click the left stick in. But again, as I said, uh, so just keep following the path for now. There's nothing else really going on. It's only a linear path. Um, and the A button is to jump, and the X button is to um, uh, use it with actions and stuff like that. So uh, it's... Fairly simple in terms of button commands, uh, but the main one you want to be going thinking of is, of course, the left stick slight sprint jog. Now, with that as well is, if you are if you've clicked it in and you're already going at your fastest pace, even if you jump, so say you jump on a platform, you will still remain at that fast pace. So I, I got confused a couple of times in the beginning, uh, trying a platform, clicking in the left stick again, and then I ended up uh, falling to my harmonious little death, as it were. So just keep that in mind. Once you click the left stick in once, even if you jump, you will continue to keep going fast until, well, until you don't. Anyway, unskippable cutscenes, which is, of course, the people's favorite. Furiosity. She once was afar from her opposed likeness coming to end. Among the woods, enchanted, nothing would fade her curiosity. Unexhausted upon this path, Myra was swarming with unforgiveness. For she dreamed. Now, as I said, a lot of this game is going to be walking forward, so for quite a few times during this game, I won't be providing any commentary, because it is literally just a case of walking forward. Uh, we need to follow this linear path and hit the X button a couple of times here to knock over this tree. Walk up, and jobs your mama. And then, again, just keep walking forward. <laughs> it's a lot of walking forward in this game, by the way. And we may be skinny, but we can push a bloody hell of a tree log out the way. So, uh, well, that's what we're going to be doing again. And pop up. Like I said, a lot of this game is sort of easy puzzles, uh, sort of light platforming. We can jump up. We start doing some Assassin's Creed style parkour stuff. Although she does look very stiff. Maybe she needed to do a bit of warm up before she'd done that. But anyway, um, this is our first achievement here. These are the first set of crows that we're going to shoo away. 
uh, for the Crows of Drivel, Drizzle Path. So just keep heading towards the right. And there's going to be a little lever. Press the X button on there. And again, I mean, in most, for the most part, there is nothing that's too complicated. There's nothing that's really complicated in terms of puzzles. Um, everything's nice and easy. And it is slow enough. For, uh, the, the game is slow enough and hopefully the video is slow enough for you to sort of keep up. But uh, anyway, keep heading forward for now. Uh, lions chasing the zebra, which was what you always see in the wilderness of Plahargan Gargan or wherever the hell we are. Now, just remember, you do have God Mode on, but we're just going to stand still just for the moment because apparently, you know, tigers are stupid. And if you stand still, apparently tigers will just run away. So I wouldn't take that um, advice to heart for the real life. If I see a tiger, run and hide or climb high up. That's what I would do. So keep heading to the right and then just keep going forward for the time being. The amount of times I'm going to say that in this video is going to be insane. Head left as we go down anyway. Now, you see this green rabbit? What you need to do is press the left trigger on it. And then what that will do is it will suck the rabbit off. <coughs> suck the rabbit's mana out of him. <coughs> Sorry. A bit of autocorrect there went a bit mad. But no, uh, that's basically how you get mana. And that's how you progress the story in the game. So every time you see a rabbit, we'll press the left trigger. And then we normally will see one of these. And all we have to do is press the X button. Find where the glow is. Then press the X button again, and then it will uh, bring us to, like, this screen. And then what you need to do is just wait for the X button, or square on the PlayStation, to appear at the bottom of the screen. And then you press it, and it will smash open the way for you. So that is how that is how we're going to be doing those. And, uh, yeah, you'll get used to that plenty quickly, because there's plenty of those that we're going to smash through. So, once again, heading straight. This is a little platform section, so it is just as easy as jumping over the other side. Uh, jumping onto here. Now remember that um, once you've clicked the left stick in, you will always be sprinting. So I made the mistake twice here of clicking the left stick once, and then I walked slow and ended up dying twice. So <laughs> just keep that one in mind. Once you've got the left stick clicked in, you're already sprinting, you stay sprinting. So, you know, jobs in Anna's uncle, boy. So, a little slight lever puzzle coming up, as it were. Another always fun, fantastic one. So, from left to right is one to five. So, we're going to interact with lever number four first. Then number one. Then number five. Then number two. And then number three. And that will open up the way. And the beautiful music and the beautiful scenery will scenic longer. If that's what you want to call it. Anyway, as per is the usual, we're going to the right to just find this box. I was going to say keep going straight, but we need to find this box. Now, the um, pushing in this game is kind of lumpy. You may need to press the left stick up twice um, in order to push our elf goddess Myra on the way. And again, incredibly, she doesn't even move when she's pushing. That's how strong. That's how strong women are. They don't even need to make noises or anything when they push boxes. They just go... They just push it like this. So, once we get it to about here, um, we can push it basically straight now. Again, it's not one of those games where you can sort of uh, toggle it and, uh, you know, make it move freely. It's a very, very straight and narrow path, this one. Uh, but we need to push it straight on. So, past the gap. And then... Mm, now we need to push it through that small gap there, but as you can see, I'm kind of a while off, or kind of a way off. So push it a little bit further, and then go to the other side there, and you should now have the ability to just push it straight through that tiny, tiny wee gap. And all we're going to be doing then, pushing it to the end so we can climb on to the, um, what the hell are they called? The climby things. 
I'm just going to call them the Assassin's Creed climby things. So the Assassin's Creed climby things, once you climb up, uh, well, we'll be at the top. That's pretty much the destination. That's where we're going. Head straight. And then drop down, go left. So it's not too much straight. Anyway, now we can keep going straight. And when we get to the flowers here, make a right. We're going to the right. Oh, man. It's incredible. So, just keep going. Here is the next rabbit. Remember, I need to press the left trigger. Sometimes the little blighter can be a little fast. But, uh, you know, once you've got in, we can now turn around. Head back out the way we came. And we are going to be doing another one of those wee, wee, wee willy winky puzzles. In well, In fact, no, we're not. We're actually going to be pressing the right trigger to shoot the diamonds at the top corner there. So once you have shot the manor, uh, you should now be able to climb up to the Assassin's Creed climby things. Um, and again, you will, everyone will correct me on what the hell they call, but for some reason I just can't remember right now. And then we could just drop down. So another rabbit here to the left. So uh, again, smash the left trigger on him. This is basically, you know, there's not a lot of new mechanics to get added into the game later on. Um, but here's another unmissable achievement. The Crows of... Nah, 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 Genie. Hey, Robin Williams is back. Genie style. Oh, man, I wish. He was the greatest genie. Wasn't he? Right, here's the dead tree of Ranchi Noosh Noosh. Or whatever that game was called first. Turn around. Uh, another Bondura classic, by the way. And again, remember to do the same thing. So go ahead, find the light. And then when you see the X or square button at the bottom... Press it, and we can move on. And coincidentally, this is where the game will save for you every single time. So if you ever need to save, just uh, get up to one of these, job done. Right, head to the right before going through the doors on the left. So head through this little gap. In fact, we don't even need to go through those doors. We're just heading straight through the gap. Just makes things a little quicker and a little easier. And if we follow around to the left, we can see yet another lever. Man, these are coming thick and fast. So go to the left, and you can see another lever. We'll operate that one, and that will then give us the opportunity to climb up to the Assassin's Creed climby thingies. Or the ACCTs. There's only one way to go now, baby, and that is down. So, have a look at the rope, press the A button to jump, and then the X button to grab on, and whee! This is my kind of game, ziplining and stuff. Right, drop down. Again, you take no fall damage because you are a old elf goddess. Interact with the rabbit, and then if we turn around, you should see basically a couple of trees in front of us with a hole just uh, through the cave. That is where we are going. So, interact with that rabbit, and start heading through. And there's going to be another achievement unlocking for us, for the next set of Crobos. Now, you probably think we're going to go in the house, right? Bug! There's actually no one here at all in the game, so we're just going to keep on going. You guessed it, El Strato. Oh, and we're going to take a left here, are we? Okay. You know the drill by now, find find the thing, press the X button, press the X button on the picture, let's move on. Okay, so we're about to be chased by a tiger here, so what we need to do, when we start um, heading down and around. When we start sliding down, stick to the left wa left side wall as much as possible. So stick to the left side wall as much as possible. The reason being, you're going to go on the ACCTs right here. So if you go in the middle or on the right hand side, you're going to fall to your death. And then you just got to do that tiny little section again, which actually brings me to another good point. This game, no matter how many times you die or anything like that, you basically just start off from, you know, literally like 
20 seconds ago. So checkpoints in this system, checkpoints system in this game is what I'm trying to say. Very, very good. Very nice. Very good. Right. Head up the old ladder. Again, apparently I assume the tiger, <laughs> well, the tiger fell to his death, which is unfortunate if you're a mega tiger lover. Um, but it's what we've got to do to survive, yo. It's not the eye of the tiger, he fell down that chasm And he fell to his death and now he tastes good I assume tiger meat would taste good Of course, no offense to any, you know, vegans and stuff who probably wouldn't eat tiger meat But, uh, uh, you know, anyway, that's for a whole, that's for a whole other thing, isn't it? Right, so we drop down, we are going to interact with this rabbit again Remember to left trigger, of course And then we're gonna go past the house Basically to where this big well, a couple of big trees are, so let's start heading around to the left. To the right, and shoot again with the right trigger. Shoot this thing a couple of times, and it should make a little platform in section for us. As you can see, floating rocks. It's incredible. So, jump up. Remember, just to make sure that you are uh, running. You've got your... Uh, I say running, I say slight, faster paced walking. Then we can head to the right. You can already see a rabbit here, which we are going to interact with. When I first seen the rabbits, I tried hitting the first rabbit like hell, because I thought it's a bit harsh. I thought we were going to be slicing these rabbits up, but no. So head to the left, interact with this demon uh, statue once, then to the right and interact with this one once, to the right again, and then we can interact with this demon statue once. Head to the right again, and straight just a little bit, you can see another one that we are going to interact with. You guessed it, just the once. And then we can go straight because the doors will now open. Right, again, that was an unmissable achievement you got just now. Now we need to, it's one of these outer ring puzzles. So what we're going to do is interact with the right lever a couple of times. It's very easy. You can't really go wrong. We're basically trying to make a tree shape, that's all. So as you can see, uh, if you want to keep having a look up, the tree, it's basically obviously the thicker tree, the, the thickest part of the tree at the bottom, and then it gets skinnier and skinnier. So just keep interacting with each lever until you make a tree symbol, and then we can move on. So when we get here, we're going to take a slight left first. We are going to find one of those mana rabbits. Come here, rabbit. I want you. There you go. Stick your left trigger into it and keep going straight. Oh, the joys of going straight. Uh, oh, that was very, very unintentional. And I really didn't mean it the way it just sounded. I meant straight as in a straight path. Okay, before anyone else gets offended, I meant a straight path. Jesus, I gotta watch what I'm saying. Sorry. Um, anyway, moving on, one little these light puzzles, oh boy. <laughs> so 
So we're taking a straight and then we're taking a right. And then we're going to take a left right here. So plop your button skis up on there. And now we can continue forwards. Oh, in fact, we're coming up to the first bit of combat in the game. Now, to beat this guy, now this guy has the most hilarious sounding voice ever. It just increases me. So what you need to do then, you have to, there are three rabbits, and it'll be the same for every bit of combat. Um, so, as you can see, one bit of mana. Die! Die! Hilarious. Ah, oh, man, what a, what a class act. But you basically need to collect mana from all three rabbits, and then very carefully hit this guy, because you can very easily miss him. And then it just takes more time. Uh, the Eye of Sauron. Uh, it looks more like just... just <laughs> more like the Eye of Ronald Weasley. Uh, <laughs> like a cheaper Wish version. But yes, that's, that's all you got to do is suck all the mana out of the rabbits and then shoot the guy. Um, just a couple of times. You have to do this two or three times. Now, my advice is to wait until he's coming towards you to shoot him. If Because once he starts running away, he might take a turn. You might miss him. And then it just makes the combat a little bit longer. So keep sucking the mana out of the rabbits, shoot him, and just keep r rinsing and repeating until his hilarious dialogue has finished. And we will see him later. Die! Next time, I will drain your spirit away! So that was a fun boss battle, wasn't it? Right, anyway, another unmissable achievement there. We're going to take a right through the trees. And we're going to squeeze our bun skis through this gap. Oh, uh, suck your gun in, boys. Anyway, there's the rabbit that we need so that we can continue on. And another unmissable achievement here, the Crows of Hunting Gods. We turn back around and we can find this box. Lonely old, very convenient box for us to grab. So when we die and take this, we can now head to this little, um, what looks more like an elevator ride, which it is, because we place the box on top of the box, jump up, press the lever, and enjoy the scenery for the next few minutes. If you don't do what I done there and you actually make it in one jump.
sure once we get to the top of the steps, take a left. We're going to go through the archway. And then we'll go straight. Ignore my going left. We need to go straight and then just right around this wall to find yet another rabbit. To tell you what, you'd think they'd have put some other animals in this game. But rabbits are apparently the source of all mana. So if you need some mana, take your stick and, I don't know, just shove it out of a rabbit. I don't know. Anyway, let's keep going straight. Time to sneeze. My favourite thing to do. So now we're going back in time or something, because we are now going to... We're not going to fight a monster, but I think there is a monster that is walking around. So, uh, we head basically straight. It's more or less a bit of a linear path. So head up these little bits of steps. Just keep going. And around and down. Again, I'm not sure. I believe there is a monster, but I don't think... Because we're on god mode, it shouldn't matter anyway. So pick up the Staff of Doom. And then we can just keep going straight. Like I said, don't quote me, there may be a monster, so if you're not playing with God Mode on, you may have to do a bit of avoiding of the monster. Um, but I didn't see him at all you know, on my two playthroughs. Uh, so, and there's two of these levels that we've got to do as well. So just keep basically going straight. We're going to stick this staff with the X button in the green deliciousness and, uh, well, a little jump scare. And then that's ending this section. Now, the only problem with that jump scare is, because the camera turns and then stops still, you kind of know that something's going to happen, rather than if you just start walking and then it just comes out of nowhere. Yeah, it wasn't as scary as I thought, luckily, because it, for those who don't like jump scares, you kind of know what to expect with that one. So, that's not too bad. Right, little squirrel or something running away. So, we move, lay forward. Oh man, I tell you, more steps. Jesus, let's head up them then. Although remember, she can push over log trees and push massive boxes. So, you know, it's nothing for our elf goddess hero. But we interact with the lever, we can drop down and the door will open for us. Nah. Oh, 
excuse me. <laughs> that is what would happen to me if I went down one of those hills really fast. Right, going left. And then going right. And then going left, we're going to find... This is one of the missable set of crows that we can find. So, before heading to the right, as you slide down the old uh, poopy mud hill, make sure to go to the left here and pick up this one. So this should be your eighth achievement, your eighth pack of crows. Um, so, yeah. Now we can move forward. Now, you have to be very careful with this one then. So, obviously, just take your time. If you want to, of course, you can do it in slow mode. Um, but you shouldn't really have too much of an issue. You can just jump straight on. And as we turn the corner, there will be another set of these. So, just be careful. And now it's time to jump on the barrels and then jump on the uh, ACCTs or the, um... oh man, it's on the tip of my tongue. These things which you find on garden walls and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> nah, still can't remember. I mean, I could, I've got a computer on right now. I could literally Google it, but nah, it's effort. So, over the steps and far away, mana rabbits come to play. Tinky winky. Sorry, that's 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 my son watching Teletubbies all the time. And it's consistently stuck in my head. So there's the mana rabbit we needed. We will then, of course, as per usual, continue forward with the light puzzle. So we're going to be coming up to a bit of a Chris Redfield moment from Resident Evil 5. Remember the one where he's pushing the boulder? He's literally just a man, but manages to smash a boulder. Yeah, apparently Myra here not only can push tree trunks out of the way, she can also mass move massive pillars without so much as a break of sweat. So drop down, head to the left, and, and we find, um, again, a very easy missable um, set of crows. The Crows of Assertion. If you went to the right, you would have missed them. So that should be your ninth one. Now, uh, this is just a little, t again, tiny, easy platforming section. Just jump on the grassy knolls and try not to die. Of course, dying is a slight inconvenience. So we don't need to go all the way to the left here. Just go to the sort of to the left. But uh, yeah, right, right, right around here anyway is where you're going to find the rabbit. So, another rabbit, and then we can go where we were heading, which is to the very far left. And give the diamonds there a couple of smashes with the mana. And what's going to happen? Oh, if we turn around, a door has opened for us for another little platforming section. Platforming climby section. Always fun. What's in there? Well, I don't know about you, loves, but uh, that looks like a torch to me. It's a security guard. Oh, uh, no. <coughs> now, on top of the things I didn't expect in this game was uh, a dog with big beaming torch eyes but god damn he's beautiful what damn's beautiful dog and i want one especially with the uh, beaming torch eyes as well now uh, we we uh, myra's calling the dog skyer now 
has that been pronounced wrong? Is it not Skier? Or is it Skier? Please let me know on that one, because, uh, I, to me, I'd be saying Skier. Is that the proper Nordic pronunciation? Who knows? Anyway, go to the right here. Don't follow the dog just yet. Follow the, uh, go to the right. Hit the rabbit and then go to the opposite side. Now, because you, you know what British are like with pronunciation. We don't like to pronounce things the way they are meant to be pronounced in other languages. Where we are pretty terrible at that, aren't we? So, yeah. Is it Skyer or is it Skier? Let me know, please. And if it's none of those, then aren't I one idiot? Right. Well, let us move forward after doing light puzzle number 11 -ty. Right then, now we need to head to the right when we get here. We need to head up the stairs, and there is a statue for us to grab. Again, not a grunt in sight. Heavy statues that we're pulling all day. And Myra, not a grunt in sight. What a woman. What a woman. Right, um, we can actually just drop down there. Uh, we Basically, there is going to be two little platform pads that we need to put these two statues on. Well, the one we've got. So we're going to put this on the left side platform pad. And that will open up the door for us. So we need to head back upstairs. Oh man, these conveniently placed levers and everything, they're working in our favour, aren't they? So when we get to the end here, turn to the left. And as you can see, there is another statue to grab. So you'll have to go down and place this statue on the other platform pad. And where our friend Skier is. I'm gonna just going to call him Skier because I'm sure that is the right pronunciation. We can now head back up the stairs and head out of this hellhole. So, interact with the crows, which should be automatic. Interact with the, the the Canadian animal of life, which the moose is, uh, hey, it's all Canadian. Cana the Canadian bacon, as it's uh, more commonly known, is just a stat I completely made up then. But anyway, for the next couple of minutes, you're just going to go through serene beauty, and why couldn't he just take us to the end of the game? I don't know. Probably because he wants to eat more grass. The Fat yet, but um, anyway, it's just a few minutes of beautiful cutscenes, so enjoy. Hey, come on, dude, take us longer. Ah, well, screw. Right, go to the right. We need to head to the right, completely to the right. So keep going all the way around to the right. And 
again, just keep going because what we're going to see is the rabbit. And from here, then, we can actually just, um, uh, you can just drop down, actually, and then turn to the right again. So if you were on top of the cliff, drop down, go to the right, or you can come back down the way we came and do one of these little light puzzles. So, what we're going to do now is you need to stand on the left hand side pad, press the right bumper when you're looking at the other one, and incredibly, this dog, this random dog that has just appeared out of the middle of nowhere, is just obeying your every command. Incredible, right? Anyway, that opens up this wind bridge. You can walk across it, so don't be too cautious like I was. You can walk across it. Oh my god, it's like magic. Again, the magic is having dogs love you. Because if you don't have dogs that love you, that's very sad, because dogs are awesome. Except for the bitey ones, of course. Um, yeah, so, we are actually going to be coming up to the second combat section. Probably seems like ages ago since we did. From here, we're going to head to the right-hand side, though, again. Do not follow the dog just yet. Head to the right to find another set of missable crows to shoo away. That is the crows of Ranchinununununa. Which is the 11th pack of crows. Ranchiuna. Ranch Salad Tuna. Head to the right again, so we're basically just going past the house and this uh, bit of wall to find another rabbit. So yeah, obviously you should, like I said, if you have a check, you should be on 11 achievements by now out of the 23. So getting through it. So head um, past the houses to the left and what we're going to do is, well, we are basically going to follow the dog now. opening sky. Now, get ready for the saddest, most hilarious thing that is going to happen here. So, this is where the second combat section, as you can see there, the um, the eye of Ronald Weasley. W look at the dog now. Watch the dog. What? What the f <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry, but the dog just sinks. What the hell? It was like, right, should we just keep the dog there or will it be too sad for people? Now, nah, let's just let him sink into the ground. I'm very sorry, the unprofessional laughing there in the coffin, but uh, anyway, it's the same thing here. Of course, you should have God Mode on, so you don't need to worry about anything. Die. He's just going to keep saying, die, and remember, you just got to go and um, get the mana out of all three rabbits. Hit, um, I don't even know what the hell his name is, but he keeps saying die and ha a lot, which is honestly my favorite um, voice lines throughout this entire game. Take that! Die! Ah! Ah! 
Next time, I will sing you to a sad ending. I don't actually think there was anything more frustrating than taking all that time getting the rabbit's mana and then missing all of your shots. Frustrating. Frustration. But, uh, well, you get there eventually, don't you? So, moving forward through the serene beauty of Flargengargan land. So at this little T-junction, we're taking a right. Remember our Icelandic dairy product skier, or Icelandic dairy product dog, has, of course, sunk into the ground somewhere. Somewhere. Still hilarious to me. Anyway, here's the next rabbit that we are going to sacrifice by sucking the soul out of him. <laughs> and then we can slowly but surely move forward. Right, uh, what we're doing here, of course, we're moving on to the steps, heading to the left, going into this little building. And we can grab some crows, or shoo away some crows, so that is the Crows of Jim. I'm glad they didn't say, or fix it at the end, that would have been awkward. Uh, so the 12th pack of crows, sorry, that was terrible. And then we can move forward to do another light puzzle. So, rather than go to the left from here, we're going to go to the right. So, don't follow the path left. Just head to the right. These little... Wherever you go, they end up in the same place. But these are kind of like, you know, two-second shortcuts, if you will. You know, just a couple of seconds will save you um, a couple of seconds. So once we climb up, what we're going to do is stick to the right for now. There's another set of easily missable crows that we can grab. So stick to the right hand side wall. There they are on the floor. And we're about to kick them in the bows. In the crow bows. Now we can head uh, basically to the right here. So just going past the little building to find yet another rabbit to manor up. That gets really annoying after a while when you can't hit the rabbit first time. Turn back around and then start heading towards the right again. And we've got light puzzle number... Whatever it is. In fact, no, we don't. We're climbing the ladder. Eh, close enough. Sorry, yes, it was light puzzle, whatever it was. So from here, we're going to go to the left, and then we are going to the left, and we're dropping down. So remember, we have uh, no injuries from incredible fall damage. So we go straight. And as you can see, the rabbit is already there, just waiting. It's it's full of juicy manliness, just waiting for him to be cooked out of him. Not, not literally cooked, of course, just with our little staff of doom. Wee-woo. 
Right, uh, we're heading past the pig house. A lot of uh, good looking protein right there. We'll be back for you later, Mr. Daddy Pig. And then we can just keep heading straight. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to stop here. And then if we look up onto the right hand side, you can see a couple of diamonds that we are going to explode. Make sure that the red is on the cursor. Otherwise, you'll have to go back and get the rabbit. Otherwise, we can just climb up this platform. And when we get to the top, we're going to go to the left. So ignore me for the moment. Uh, we're going to the left. Doing a little bit more climbing. Slapping that rabbit down, boy! And then carefully, if we turn back around, carefully drop down to the next cliff. I completely missed it like an absolute new bag, but you need to go onto the next cliff and then start basically heading to the right. So uh, ignore my uh, silliness and my, idioc my idiocracy. Anyway, we made it, so we're good to go. So again, make sure you got the mana from the rabbit and then we can head through here. Now we actually need to just uh, have a look at this building here, basically the, the left hand side of it for the crows to shoo away, they, they were just on top of there, just chilling out, so that is the crows of education, that'll be the 14th pack of crows that you should have, and then you can turn around and do this next lighting puzzle. Sweet dreams, my lady. Sweetums dreamsums. So this is basically every American person joking about the British. This is what your average British person looks like. Because we don't go to the dentist apparently and that's what our teeth look like and that's what we look like when we wake up. That's, uh, again, that's every American's go-to joke when arguing with a British person on Facebook I've noticed. Which is still funny. Uh, not true, but still funny. So, we start heading down, and as you can see, this is a dead end. <clears throat> so we do have to go back the way we came, and then the way opens up. Unless the way already opened up, and I just forgot to look around a couple of times. Anyway, this is where we are actually going. Now, this is where the monster does actually walk around. As you can see, he's right there, so we're going to go to the left. We're just going to stick to the left-hand side. Uh, we're going to pick up our Staff of Doom in just a moment. There it is. So if we just keep heading towards the left-hand side, there it is. Right. Now, what we can do is keep heading to the left. Now, the, the monster may be in random locations. Again, if you're on God mode, it doesn't really matter. Um, but he may just be walking around. So if you want to, if you're not playing on God mode, of course, just be careful. Just keep sticking it around to the left. i got no idea where he is at this point, by the way. I'm just sort of um, guessing, even though uh, we're invincible. So just keep heading down, and then we're going to take a left here, in through, this doorway, in through this doorway, and then stick our staff in the green stuff. And job done for this. This is the last section uh, that we have to do for this one, by the way, which is cute.
So once we climb up these ACCT things, what we're going to do, we're actually just going to go straight but left. So keep heading down to the left. Now there's going to be a little bit of a T-junction here. Make sure to keep going straight. So you're taking the left-hand side path to find another set of missable crows. So this will be crow number 15, I believe. The plovio for the plovio file. That's a word, right? Pluvio file? Yeah, 15th out of 21 anyway. Then we can go to the right-hand side and move on. All right, so we're going to begin now a big, massive boulder arms out now. So head to the left. And we're going to be doing a good bit of box pushing. There it is. That is what we need. So the path is obviously fairly obvious. You need to push it forward and then to the right and then straight and yeah. So yeah, just keep following. Until, as you can see, the ACCT things on the right-hand side, the Assassin's Creed climby thingies. So if you want to, just try and give it up a, a bit of a push against the wall. Can be kind of finicky sometimes to get the button prompt to appear. Um, but as long as you're close enough, you should be able to do a good run and jump. If not, of course, just push the box ever so slightly closer. Um, yeah, it does get quite finicky. I found especially towards the end of the game, when you're pushing boxes... Let's get a little bit finwaki. Anyway, once you can, climb up, make sure that you're running, and job done. So after sucking out the rabbit mana, make sure to head round here and just slowly go up to it and you should automatically climb onto these ropes and, uh, you know, swing yourself across, pure monkey style. Well, not pure monkey styles, because monkeys actually swing like kings and humans are pretty crap at that, so uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, head, th head through and straight as per usual, as we've been doing throughout the entirety of the game so far. About half an hour left now, so there's only one more combat section left to do. Um, and then it's pretty much the rest of it is walking. <laughs> So you would have got the uh, unmissable achievement there for the crows. So when we turn around, um, the door or the, the way will be open for us. Interact with the next lever here. That will drain the water. Lovely. And that's what we need. Now, this uh, next bit of puzzle is a bit of a timed puzzle. Um, I say a bit of. It is a timed puzzle. So you have to be as quick as you can with this one. So interact with the lever. And then what's going to happen is a bolt's going to come down. But it's not actually after you. So we need to be quick. So just go forward. Up the Assassin's Creed climby thingies. And then immediately, when we get to the top, turn to the right. And then you need to jump on the boulder. 
and hit the other Assassin's Creed climby thingies. So it, you may look like you won't make it, but you actually do. Um, but if you take too long, the boulder will go past. If you fail it for whatever reason, I did the first time, just interact with the lever again and you, you basically get infinite tries. So from here, we're going to take the next left. There it is, slight edit because I messed up. And then basically what we have to do is just drop down here and head to the left hand side uh, corner to find a rabbit. So you can drop down or what you can do is actually just go the way that I went and you can wait for one of these boards to uh, collapse. Here it is. Bleep. There we go. I don't Because I don't think you can actually drop down there for some reason. Anyway, smash open the rabbit. Not literally, of course. Don't literally smash open the rabbit. <clears throat> head to the opposite side. And we basically just have to climb back up and do that little bit of puzzle. Okay, so make sure to follow the same path that I do then. So if we head to the sort of end right here, we're going to go through this door. We're going to take the first right. There we go, the first right. Head all the way to the end. And then we're going to turn left. Then we're going to take the second left right here. And then we're going to take the last right. So we'll go all the way to the end here, take the last right. And that is the path with no creaky collapsing boards. And we have made it to the end. Uh, so that was obviously slow and painful. Now we can go fast and, well, less painful. <laughs> Third and final combat then with Mr. Die and Mr. Ah. So do what you've done for the fight, uh, for the previous two. Collect the mana from all three rabbits, then hit him as carefully as you can, so you're not having to waste any more time than you already need to. And again, for some reason, one thing I should mention is no. Even if he didn't have God Mode on in normal realities, he's going, mate. Why the crap are you chasing rabbits, bro? Stab death. Easy win for him, but for some reason he decides to hit you and then runs away like he's got diarrhea or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. But that also made me chuckle. Take that! Die! Take this! Take this! Die! Die! Next time, I will drain your spirit away! Mate, you said you would drain my spirit away the last two times, and the two balls of spirit that I have are still quite full, so you're not very good at draining my spirits. Um, anyway, <laughs> we can now move on. Uh, that is, like I said, the last bit of combat, so we should be good now to go to the very end with about 25 minutes or so left.
So what we're going to do then, we um, headed to the right to grab the mana from the rabbit. We now head to the left. What we're going to do is jump on the uh, climby thingies. Incredibly, she missed absolutely. Luckily, we we can start basically right back where we were. So climb, boy, climb. Or climb, girl, climb, as it were. So once we get up, we head to the right, Crows of Cycle, that'll be the next achievement before doing another light puzzle, that one is unmissable, but that should be a 17th achievement for the 17th pack of Crows. So another easy little puzzle we have to do, we can drop down, and again, even better than Chris Redfield here, we're pushing an incredibly massive pillar, without grunting, without so much as a sweat. Um, but, but what we need to do then is basically push this, uh, just in the middle, where the gap gets smaller here. Again, can be hard to kind of see sometimes, but you need to push it as close as you can into the middle, then run to the end, climb back up, and that should um, basically give us the pillar enough to jump over and continue. A uh, couple of gaps you can easily avoid here, so just make sure to jump over gap number one, and then gap number two now. I just about made that one, I think, actually. Then hit the rabbit. Hiya! Give me your mana. And then if we start climbing up, what you need to do, um, I tried jumping over to the other arm. Didn't work, so what you need to do is just go on to the salad finger hands, and then jump over. And then there's going to be another set of diamonds to the left here that we can just hit a couple of times. Climb up and then do that little bit of swing platforming once again. Again, if you die, you only start literally from like seconds before, so it is not bad. Once again, would crap my pants. But you would have got the Crows of Vega uh, achievement that was unmissable. So for this puzzle, we need to go from the right hand side first and just light up the, the torches on the wall. So basically just going from right to left. Um, I'm pretty sure it is right to left. I don't think going left to right works, but if you want to try, that's all good. And then when the satanic symbol appears, we're just going to press on that. And that will light up the way for us, spookily.
I need to make a raft. For that, I need to collect... Okay, we need to make a raft. Oh, very posh raft. Right. So, head to the left-hand side first. Yes, we do have to do a little bit of um, scavenging here. So, this first building on the left, go inside. Pick up this first log. Where she's putting this log, I don't know. And I don't think I want to know. Maybe that's going to be in uh, Tonguk Boda's next game, perhaps. Uh, head directly around from where we were. So, that's the first log. Um, head slightly left uh, where this next building is to find another two logs. And then if we go straight, we're just going to go basically in the house. I say straight, left into the house to find um, a hammer and two sets of nails. So make sure to uh, pick those up if you can or you may have troubles like I did. Uh, so turn back around. We're done in this house now. We can turn back around. We're going to go up these sets of steps to the right. And then if we go immediately to the right, uh, we're going, just basically going to be going behind this house. If you have trouble here, um, there's another two ways you can get up or you can just jump over the wall to find another log behind this house. Pick that one up. Uh, now we're going to interact with this right-hand side building. And if we go to the end on this stool, we can find a, another set of nails. That should be three out of five for you. One hammer and four logs you should have. Go into the opposite building. And have a look on the floor for a rope. That'll be your um, whatever that is. And a set of nails here on the stool as well. So make sure to pick those up. Head out. And then if we head to the left, next to the well, there's going to be another building we are going to go into. Squeaky doors. Another two logs for us to pick up. That'll be six out of ten for you. And we can back out and get out of here. Go to the right. And head into this next building. Oh, in fact, no, sorry. Don't even bother going into the building because there's nothing in it. We're going straight and heading up the next set of steps. We go into the right, directly to the right, heading left here and picking up another rope from the floor. So that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Right, what we can do now is head basically back down the steps. And then if we turn to the left, you can see this building here and a couple little, little set of steps with another log on it. So that'll be 7 out of 10 for the logs. Head out. We don't need to go into this building because it's locked, so that's all good. Um, but we can head out. Head around and then to the left. And then we're going to go up the steps. And to the right of it. Or in the building and to the right is a set of stairs. That's what I was trying to get at. And if we head up, there is another rope for us to grab. So now we should have three out of two. So we should definitely be be good now for ropes. Heading out, we can head uh, immediately down the steps. Almost finished our scavenger hunt, by the way. Uh, we're not going inside this building. We're going straight past it. Basically past the flowers and heading towards the two hut buildings here on the opposite side. And if we head start heading to the right, it's stormy and rainy. We can head into the building, see if there's any food or anything, but there is a log, so that'll be 8 out of 10. That'll do perfect. Anybody got any booze? Or, you know, a sandwich? I'm starving here, damn it. It's been two days and I haven't eaten. So head uh, back around of the house to grab log number 9. Go in the um, middle. And in fact, I think we've got everything now. The only other log that we need is... Uh, in fact, no, sorry. Head into the house. We need the last set of nails from this house. Sorry, so... Now we should be good for everything apart from that last log, which if we head out of this house and we start heading uh, basically to the opposite side. So go past this fence, go to the left slightly from this fence, past the big tree, and you see the building that is in front of us? Yes, the final log is going to be behind this house and there are a set of crows as well for the next bountiful achievement. So behind this house, there's the final log. Again, this may be in uh, this may be in the redress of Myra too. Make sure to grab the crows, and then when we've done them, head to the left, head to the dock, and it's going to be another couple of minutes of whirlwind beautifulness. The redress of Myra, log country. Yeah. Bam, 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 bam.
So once we're off the ravenous rocks, turn to the right. And then what we're going to basically do is uh, at the tree. Shame he couldn't do anything with his frogs or none of them said, bud, why, zer? Because that was always funny back in the day. Uh, turn to the left here to grab the rabbit and then just go to the opposite side. We turn around, go to the opposite side to do another light puzzle. Now, before heading up the steps, we're going to go straight down off the cliff. Not to our death, but we are going to find a little something, something for us. An uh, easily, again, missable set of crows. So drop down, keep going straight here. And that's where they are. Job's done. And then what you need to do is basically go back the way you came. And now we can head up the steps. We should only now have one set of uh, crows to shoo away. And you ain't getting up that way, pal. So... So, another easy bit of pushing here, so we're going to push it straight, and then slightly right, and then slightly left, until we get to the Assassin's Creed climbing thingies again. Or the Prince of Persia, I suppose. The original was in the Prince of Persia, but then the original was in something... Was the climbing sections of Prince of Persia original? Yeah, so I've been calling it Assassin's Creed, and it should be P-O-P-C-T, so pop cuts. Yeah, I'm going to call them pop cuts from now on. I mean, it's a little late calling it Prince of Persia climby thingy since we've got literally 10 minutes of the game left. But still, it's the thought that counts and, you know, that's all good. Right, no lever here, so uh, just keep going around to the right. And when we go to the left here, we can snatch this out of the statue's hands without worrying about any Indiana Jones running away from boulder stuff. It'll automatically get popped in and then we can interact with the lever and we can just jump to the other side. So, this next puzzle's not too bad. Basically, you just have to interact with each lever until these specific colours come up. So, we interact with the first one. Um, so, basically, the middle one needs to be red. So, basically, it needs to be from left to right, yellow, red, blue. So, that's all you got to do is interact with the lever until the left one is yellow, the middle one is red, and the right one is blue. And then what will happen is, right in front of us is a platform that will start rising. So, don't worry if you miss it the first time. It'll go up and down. So remember, the left, uh, keep interacting with the levers until it's yellow on the left, red in the middle, and blue on the right. So once we've climbed up the pop cuts, the pop cuts, uh, we're going to head to the right and we're going to find yet another rabbit for us to suck the mannerish life out of. 
Man, they've had it rough in this game, the bunnies. All they wanted to do was just eat grass and be green. But not when we come about. Because apparently there's no other people. Well, there's not that many people in this game. Just the die hard guy. And uh, whoever the hell we were chasing at the beginning. Oh, come on, mate. It's rained before. What you talking about? Oh, lucky those rock formation just dropped on us, didn't it? Um, so basically, if we uh, start off on the left-hand side rocks, you should be able to find your way up and then climb up the pop cuts again. Now it's the crows! A victory child! We have got all 21 of crows' achievements, which hopefully you should too! The crows of victory child! So yes, yeah, so now we should only have two achievements left. The easy little platform section may look confusing, it's not too bad. Uh, but we've only got two achievements left now for seeing both of the endings, so hopefully, providing you be following along lovely, uh, you should have now all of the crows' achievements. And that should be good as gold, right? Jump on the next platform and then we can just jump over to the other side. And now we are back, basically at the beginning of the game, with the the incredible uh, voice acting of you, sneaky little demon. I'll get you yet, if my name ain't Gamma Mate Phil Mitchell. Anyway, all we need to do is just follow the way until the end, and then we get the choices of the two endings. Closer or you'll meet your father! You'll be sorry very soon, you sneaky little demon! That I swear! I will sing you to a sad ending! Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Um, <laughs> I will sing you to a sad ending. Uh, right, so we, uh, you can choose whichever one you want. The left trigger is unforgiveness. The right trigger is forgiveness. Um, we need to see both endings anyway. I choose the right trigger option just to see the uh, forgiveness. Um, I don't know why I chose forgiveness straight away. There was definitely no two reasons that I could think of right there. Um, anyway, this is the first ending, uh, the happy ending. So, you know, she planted a tree before she jumped into her bed. Well, holy crap, that was quick. But I suppose if you forgive someone for doing whatever it was, I suppose you want to snuggle, as it were. Myra was swarming with forgiveness. For she dreamed. 
Unless, of course, I just read that totally wrong and Myra just wanted to go into her own bed to sleep because she's had a rough two days. Fair enough. Right, if you don't want to sit through the credits, um, because they're unskippable, what you can do is just quit completely out of the dashboard and reload the game back in, press the continue button, and then you just have to do the same little section again with the, Oh, come back here, you snaky little demon! I'm going to shove this stuff so far up your nostrils, it's going to come out your butthole. You won't get me! You won't get far! Don't come any closer or you'll meet your father! You'll be sorry very soon, you sneaky little demon! That I swear! I will sing you to a sad ending! This is for Skir. Skir. Yes, the Icelandic dairy product, which is damn delicious. Right, now of course, whichever one you chose last time, make sure to choose the opposite option. For me, it's going to be the left trigger and unforgiveness. Now with the unforgiveness, just have a look at how, um, or the avenge, sorry, not unforgiveness, uh, avenge. Have a look at Myra's frown now. I literally cried with laughter because it was just, it just looked hilarious. She just looked more frownier than usual. Uh, it's coming. It's coming. I don't even know who the hell Binel is. I assume it was that lady, but, um, or that demon lady. Anyway, so it's going to be all like, oh my god. And then she's going to be like, oh, there's the British teeth person again, apparently. Uh, we need to go to the test, of course. Look at that frown, man. That is one hell of a frown. Jesus. That is really upsetting. Anyway, that is the end of the game now. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the game. Uh, if you enjoyed the guide and it helped, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Thank you so, so much for watching again. I shall see you in the next one. There's 23 out of 23. See you in the next one again. Big love.